Hola, amigos. Hola. Oh. Whoa. Oh, God. That scared the shit out of me. You can't stand up to a lanky old doofus like me. I'm looking at your little lights, your demon lights. Why don't you turn them off for me? Oh, oh, oh. Can you do it? Oh, no, you can't. Oh, oh, oh. Is that hard for you? Oh, I'm trying the best I can. I'm just a little demon. Unbelievable. I'm gonna be quiet now. This is the part where I invite you to do your very best to kill me. Nothing? Hmm? Fine. Come on! What are you doing here? Stop wasting my time, demon! Have at me! Kill me! Hurt me! You're a little stomping grounds here. I'll tell you what, I don't give a shit, demon. You hear me? Um, shot in the dark. Is there a ghost bear here? Any kind of ghost bear? All right, we got our flashlights here. This is such a, what a fun thing we've done here. I'm standing on an altar alone in a, in a demon infested church. Oh, and it suddenly got really cold. That's fun. One of these days I'd love my eyes to turn black. I would like that day to never come. I'm telling you right now, if my eyes turn black, murder me. I'm telling you right now, I will not kill you. Why? Because I need to save you. No! And you'll come back, and then, this, there's two reasons for it. One, you're my friend and I need to, I need to save you. Two. It's kind of you, yes. Two. I need you to eat crow when it comes to demons being real because then after I save you from being possessed, you'll be like, oh, what happened? Did I eat too many hot dogs or something and pass out? And I'd be like, no, a demon went inside your body and danced you around like a little puppet man. Are you gonna wheel me out like Hannibal Lecter with like a, like a straight yeah, jacket? Yeah, like a straight jacket and a, and a muzzle. <laughs> See, Sarah, he's fine. Look. This is not sponsored, but it can be. It can be. Hit us up. Please. You know? I'm, I'm willing to slap my face on a cheesy gordita I crunch. I'm begging you. Please. I'll, I'll get a tattoo. You know, I bet some of you were decent guys just cashing a check, but some of you were probably real ass wipes. Huh? What'd you say to me? Speak up! That's what I thought. I'm sorry, I thought this was a tower full of people who knew what they were doing. Huh? What'd you say? Speak up! Coward! Cowards! All of you! You hear me? Jesus Christ. You're cowards! Uh! This is the kind of man that you shouldn't be pushed around by. I'm strange and off-putting. I should not feel confident in the face of any man. Yet here you are, smiling in the face of the devil. Because I've triumphed once again! <laughs> there are... So many bats in this room. Uh, oh yeah, I'm a ghost hunter. You know, the prerequisite like for that around. would be, uh, you'd have to be intimidating. <laughs> but they don't know what the internet is, so. We've tried to explain it. Shane does start every investigation by saying, look folks, look ghouls, you have the opportunity to be on YouTube.com. I think it, right now. That almost always gets cut from the episode. Yeah, I wonder why. Uh, I don't do that for other emotions, just fear. I love emotions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put that on a t-shirt. I love emotions, Shane Madej, 2018. I have them all the time. Wouldn't it be cool if aliens were really small? Like, like, a, co big. like a coffee cup? Like a coffee cup. Like if we were shooting this episode and something just hovered by our head right here? Yeah, that'd be cool if they were real little. And then a cat like jumps up and grabs it and just... <laughs> For all the Bugaras out there, I apologize. I, 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 uh, he let I, you down. I unintentionally put out a ruse there. He let you and down. once I started seeing the tweets roll in, I was like, uh oh. And Shaniac, sorry I didn't let you know over the weekend, but let's all have a good laugh about Actually, it. Actually, we both kind of. All these people running around like chickens with their heads cut yeah, well, off. Well, I mean, like, he found a ghost! What, he if, found like, a ghost! what if there's Shaniacs out there who saw that and they were like, I guess that's I it? I did see some people I who guess were like, like, no, I'm a Shaniac, but I think they, I think they got one. <laughs> And I, I, think was, I got and I was just like, be cool, my babies. Haley Bork, can you guys imagine if teeth were soft, like gummy bear consistency, but like attached to your body forever? Imagine trying to eat like a steak. <laughs> Wild. Hashtag Shaniac. Thank you, Haley Bork. I can't imagine that. Just to really razz them, just to, if they do think I'm a ghost, 
I'm gonna give them the scare of their life right now. Okay, let's see. Ready? <laughs> it's a crude drawing, it's a six year old drawing. Sure. Thank you. That's good. <laughs> I like it. Now, I will say. It's a lot it, of negative It's things. definitely an interesting use of the real estate. I guess I'll just go fuck myself then, huh, right? <laughs> Funny joke, demon. Ghost, I don't know. A human? I believe it takes form of a human, if that's the best way I can describe that. Very because, good. Because it feels Very like, because, good. <laughs> because it feels like it's like. I'm not scared of you, so please say your name. He's lying, but please say your name. I have a vial of holy water. What do you have? Me. Hey, how's how you it going? Hey, Brian, Brian. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How's nice it going, man? Good, good, good. I don't. You have a name? I'm Shane. <laughs> I'm EJ. <laughs> Is this your first time meeting somebody? I don't. Why are you so weird right now? I... That's definitely paranormal. Yo! <laughs> oh boy. He doesn't believe in any of this, by the way. Yeah, it's all baloney. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Quieres llevarte a alguien? Llévase a Shane. Oh. Gracias. He said my name for sure. I hope you got a glass of water because here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh damn. Uh oh. No, 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 no. It's too sexy, senor. Are you so probably doing some stupid bit where he's pretending he's a kid? Oh, hey there, miss. Uh, it's just me, uh, a little boy. I'm out here all alone at night. Oh, I sure hope some lady doesn't show up and kill me. Uh, and then he'll move on from that. He'll start wailing. Mm -hmm. And then when that eventually fails, he's going to move to his, his old standby of asking La Llorona to murder him in various ways. Oh, I sure would be bummed if a lady showed up and drowned my ass right now. What are you going to do? Who knows what I'm going to do in this place? You do what you want to do. My goal, I want to say, is for us to have a car crash on the way home. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm buck. You better buckle up because we're done for. Oh, my God. We're going under. All right. Let's, ravine, just, let's get this. Oh, no, yeah, if you squeeze like really hard, like to take, you take your arms like this. Where, where, how is it squeezing? Take your hands and then squeeze your neck. In. I'm not going to do that. Do it. No. Do it. I'll do it. No. Just do it for the science of it. Now, imagine you have little plush hands. Now take them and then just kind of squeeze. Yeah, it kind of hurts a little bit. No. I mean, it's a, it's a doll full of fluff. Uh. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> well, okay, I just, I'm curious. <gasps> were his exact words there? Oh, God. You're not going to, are you? What were his exact words? Apparently, he said, you're just a rag doll, Annabelle. You can't hurt anyone. Okay. Good to know. We'll commit that to memory. I hope you don't. She's just a rag doll, right? I'm gonna call you a lift. She can't hurt own. anyone. You're gonna you're gonna be in a separate car from me, I think. Would it, would be crazy if I died. I mean, I know I say that a lot, but it would be cool to go out from one of the big guns. What's the most disrespectful thing I can do to her? I'm not gonna help you workshop our death. What if I creep her out and then she's afraid of me? And then she gets in a car accident. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, because she drives home. She's going to get back into her Prius. She's like, I don't like this place anymore. <laughs> Gets in her little Malibu Barbie car. Yeah, her little dog car. <laughs> <laughs> Got a funny little face. It does have a funny little face. Kind of looks like you. I was going to say it looks like you with the elongated limbs. Yeah, but it's got those little, those like scared eyes, you know? Like, this is what you look like when you see a like a, a little, it's something you think is evidence. Oh. Can you jump into my body? You could think of this guy as a very big doll. I'm gonna lock you up inside my body like a little canary. Jesus Christ. You're gonna be stuck inside my rib cage forever. What do you think of that, Annabelle? You're just a doll. I tried to give you silence. Isn't that what the guy said to her? Oh God, why yeah. did you say that, yeah, man? Come on, come on. What's wrong with you? No. No. Jesus Christ, man. Oh God, you almost gave me a heart attack. Basically just respect her. I will say, I do not respect you. Well, by the cross, we get a little reading. Maybe that's our pal JC. I don't know if he just hangs out in every cross in the world, or if he's split among them like a horcrux. If you are going to kill me, turn the right one off. Okay. If anything happens, I guess I'll just like, um... Ah, like that. Back off. Come on. Now, this is the part where people have often got hurt. And seeing as you did all the things that you shouldn't have. <laughs> Why? Are you, are you so angry you can't even speak? <laughs> I can't believe you did what you did in there. And now we're in the same car. You realize 
the amount of danger that you put everybody in. Think of this though, think of what a gift it will be if you survive the next couple weeks, no, no accidents, no nothing. You can put her on your little checklist of ghouls. No, I think I'm just gonna always, I'm just gonna forget this happened. I'll remind you, as often as possible. I'm gonna be so pissed off if we die. Actually, this feels pretty nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> I'll do a little more research on this on my own time, see how it stacks up. Don't you touch my case file ever again. Get your... Get your... Yeah, I licked it. it. Smells like vinegar. Yeah. You have salt and vinegar chips? No, that's just me. Kids are uh, numb again. What? I don't know. Hell? You gotta go to the doctor. We'll go back to Graham Town. You know when your feet fall time. asleep, it's like that. Yes. But it's on my palms. Well, that's not good. A bunch of little little needles dancing Wait, on my. Wait, put put your hand down. No, now they're tingly again. No, no, no. <laughs> Do you ever see videos of demolitions where I have seen those where they fall the wrong way? <laughs> Were you? Uh... <laughs> it's so funny because everyone's like. Yay, this building's, huh? Oh, no, not that, huh? Oh, blue skies at night, sailors getting fights. Blue skies in the morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning. <laughs> <laughs> you keeping <laughs> secrets from us, Peter? Come on, Peter. <laughs> Come on, Peter. <laughs> We'd love it if you talk to us, Peter. We're gonna to move to the other basement now, Peter. A shooting star just went behind what your head. What are you head. talking? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I just saw another. No, that's a bug. I think when Shane is around, it's easy to forget that you're in one of the most horrifying places on earth. Uh, and now that he's not gonna be in there, not to say that he's like my daddy or something like that. I don't know why I said it. <laughs> Have fun with that one, internet. Please haunt me. I'm begging you to haunt me. Scare the shit out of me. Do something. <laughs> How many times do I have to plead with air? We look exactly like the two guys from Home Alone. This was unintentional. I'll do uh, getting electrocuted on the same. Oh, at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> Party basement, isn't it? I'm a little party boy. If you're looking for a party boy, here I am. Let's party, baby. Let's party. Let's dance. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye, ghosts. I love you. You know, a lot of times at meet and greets and such, we'll get some fun. I don't know what <laughs> we'll get some. Please, sir, can I have some more? I believe that's pronounced. Please, sir. Please, sir, can I have some more? What? Hashtag gross boredom. I already explained. My hands were scabs. So now I'm going to call upon the power that I've accumulated from all the demons I've defeated, and I will use it to banish your wretched withering soul back to hell. Do you hear me? I'm sending you back to hell. I don't really know how that works, but I'm just gonna say that I'm doing it, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be enough. So, alakazam, a bing bang boom. Hope you like hell, you loser. Now's your opportunity to enter my soul. I'm gonna put 15 seconds on the clock here. And here we go. Uh, are you nervous about being in there alone? Called Show Feet Guy. Yeah. And he says, yes. Show Feet. Show Feet. Well, Show Feet, it's oh, your Ryan, you're gonna do it's it? your lucky day. Here are we go. Are you gonna do That's oh. not what he's after. Ah. Oof. You're gonna do it? Yeah, here we go. This is gonna end up on a, a why is your toenail black? Oh, that's because. What the fuck? So, see, that's a that's a bruise from basketball. Oh, and I was get playing, it out I of here. Huh? Ooh, that's a little drum hit. Yeah. We got a beatboxing uh, demon in here. Oh, oh shit, another one. <laughs> My name is Ryan and I'm here to say we're the baddest ghost hunters in the USA. Hunting demons and ghouls too. What? Wait, hold on. We have to get a response. We... Stop being by. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <We got it. laughs> choo choo pickle pie. Choo choo pickle pie. What the fuck? I don't know. I just think a funny thing a ghost could whisper. Okay, that's it. I'll believe in ghosts if on the EVP we pick up.
choo-choo pickle pie. <laughs> We're planning cheek to chair, baby. You ain't gonna stop me. I'm sitting in that thing bare ass. I'm gonna give that thing a high five with my butt cheeks. Yeah, not gonna happen. I'm not sitting on that. You like to seduce men, huh? What? Take a crack at it, gal. Just... What if my shirt started to get whap, unbuttoned whap, slowly? Whap, whap. What? See that? That's my belly button. You like that? And if that wasn't hot enough, ah! also if he's uh, if he's having a good time in there right now, there's something truly wrong with his brain. Well, now this is a beautiful, gorgeous room with wonderful acoustics. I mean, look at this shit. Who in their right mind would be stoked to be in there by themselves? You know how much of a psychopath you have to be to enjoy that? Oh my goose, won't you tug on my shirt? An hour or two ago. I hate it! I fucking hate this! That is quite a reaction. I think we're making some headway. You think you're crazy? You haven't seen crazy yet! It's gone quiet now and I'm afraid he's dead. I said it once I and I said it before, you do look like Tony Stark if he lost all of his money. To be fair, to be fair. Maybe it worked because in hey. a mere few feet away from where we drum these little bad boys, that's where we caught ourselves a juicy FBA. That was, so the, that was the ghost leaving the building. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm done here. <laughs> this week, a uh, motherfucker. <laughs> this week on motherfucker. This week on. Um, <laughs> else? No. <Rub>. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a fetish for nipples. <laughs> I just think it's very funny. Well, that came out of. Well, I mean, we, we, there's a lot of nipple talk here. I just feel like it's gonna seem like I have a fetish for nipples. I don't. Like, can you imagine if something really, really bad did happen? And then this episode goes up and we're like, whoa! <laughs> 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 We're touching our nipples. <laughs> Though it would be very fun for us to actually say, Gooligans, assemble. That would be good. And then you could toss the envelope in my hand and I could catch it. You yeah, I mean, I could try it. Oh, Jesus! Wait, hang on. Hang on. Oh, I gotta say the phrase first. Oh, okay. Gooligans, assemble. We could workshop that, but that's kind of what it would look You're like. You're my friend, I'm your friend. Friends are an unspoken thing. There's never a moment I'm where we shake hands. I'm speaking it, I'm like, speaking it. Is this how you do it? You go, we're friends now. We're friends now. I am your friend. I, Ryan Don't you remember Steven us? Vergara, am your friend. And I, Shane Madej, am your friend. Great, let's seal it. We have, it's sold. It's <laughs> a tight handshake. You got a tight handshake. That's good because you're my friend now and now your handshake is on my team. All right, we're disengaging in three, two, two one. one. I bet people living on this thing had a blast. You get to get in little planes, fly around. Sure, war, sad. But they got a popcorn machine here, so I'm sure life wasn't too bad. <laughs> Probably would have been fun to be one of those flyboys, though. Up in the clouds, munching on that, that sweet, sweet cotton candy. God's cotton candy. Mmm, and ain't it sweet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's because he doesn't believe in ghosts as much anymore. Oh. And that chair actually has a very very prominent butt print on it. Does that have a, That's a hole I re in it? I read that you know, it doesn't have a hole in it. It wasn't that spicy of a turd. But I did read on the website that there is butt cheek marks on it and they said that like they're butt cheek marks from pers a person who sat there a long time. Are they like you got to see this imprint? It's good looking. This it's guy like, this guy had an ass. You got to see this guy's mud cake. What are we doing here? What is happening? This guy's got quite an ass. <laughs> you got to see this ghost's ass. I just I just think it's weird that they would make it so prominent on the like on in the history it's very specific. This has an ass print on it.
to prove that someone has sat on this chair. As if I'm not going to look at a chair and be like, I bet you no one sat on that. I'm going to need some fucking proof. That ghost's got a great ass. A ghost's got a big ass. Is it big ass or great ass? Did I look? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give that thing a high five with my butt cheeks. It's a pop. We can give each other a high five. With our butt. <laughs> Jesus, <fucking laughs> oh, it's toasty in here. Okay. It's warm. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's <laughs> bring, it, bring it down. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Might as well. Hey, if you're gonna get wet, you might as well go swimming. That's what I say. Are you kind of like a dip your toes in the pool kind of guy? Or I literally like a... just fucking said, if you're gonna get wet, you might as well yeah, go I'm swimming. Yeah, I'm asking you by the methodology. I'm jumping! Well, then that's the... I laid my ass on a pentagram. Do you think I dip my toes in the pool? I don't know. Maybe you kind of are a guy who likes to work your way in. Absolutely That goes not. against everything I do know about you, but I just wanted to give you... Oh look, I sat on that rocking chair right before we started rolling here and you, you could see, see you could see my whole Whoa. ass mark. Man, that's a hot ass. That's a hot ass. That's the hottest ass the internet's ever seen. God damn, look at those buns! Let me sit in this chair and see if the wood retains anything. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Okay, I'm gonna try and be real warm. Yeah, think warm thoughts. Think Chipotle. Anything? Oh yeah, dude. Look at this. You are oh, making that man. baby glow. Wow! Hey, I didn't know it did that. That's incredible. Get a shot at this. Take a look at this. That's YouTube's ass right there. Wow, you can really <laughs> see my ass. <laughs> look at the look at how pronounced that crack is. I'm surprised you don't see it. I'm surprised. By, by we, we hear there's a ghost dog. <laughs> but no good seance is performed without protection. So I got something that you're gonna really like. We got condoms? What are you doing? What is going on right now? What is that? You brought- I'm packing. Oh, your little friends. I got two guns, one for each of us. I get one? Is That's this holy right. water? That's holy water, baby. Put a cup. Are you drinking the holy water? It's disgusting. My therapist says it's very important to set boundaries. And these ghosts, th this is primarily for the, the demons, huh? Because ghosts don't give a shit about water, right? Is mine loaded? No, it's loaded. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why would you do that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, you motherfucker! <laughs> Do you think that elderly gentleman was the fucking devil? It's possible. Would you make a deal with the devil? Yeah. What would it be for? Whatever. Just a general Whatever deal? Whatever he's got, I'll you'd take it. You'd have an overall deal with the devil? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How would you? Why are you already shaking my hand? <laughs> Wait, I, I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe I don't want to make a deal. Let's <laughs> set it down now. It's too late. <laughs> You're in contract with Shane Madey now. <laughs> it's been nearly two years since we've sat down at the Supernatural desk and gone out on our ghost hunts. That's fair. And in that time, as we were coming up on this season, it occurred to me, and I'm not even joking about this, we are the best ghost hunters who ever lived. I agree with that. I'm not fucking joking. There's no point this in us- This is not a joke. There's not- there's no point in us dimming our light anymore. No. Okay? I am not my fear. I am stronger than my fear. I am not my fear. My name is Ryan. Ryan Bergara. And I'm the most feared ghost hunter in the fucking world. So I ask you this, demon. Do you feel fucking lucky? We hear hoof noises outside. We wake up in the morning and see hoof prints outside. And I say, there were horses here last night. And you say, yes, it was a unicorn. And I say, what? Well, That's what's happening well, here. Unicorns aren't real. And ghosts are real. Ah! I'm gonna lay down on the floor next to it and close my eyes. And then uh, if the killer is here or if the spirit of the killer is here, now would be a great time. Use your ghost powers to strangle me. Maybe when I open my eyes, you can be levitating like a, an inch above my face or something. It's actually quite calming. Very vulnerable. I'm so vulnerable right now. Oh my God. You could really take a whack at me, I'll tell you that.
so many people would see it. It would be trending for at least a day or two on Twitter. People would be like, oh my god, you see this guy get fucking split in two by a ghoul. Really pleasant. Well, it's said that people feel very oppressive feelings in here. It's said to have split groups up. They'll start arguing with each other and stuff like that. I dare them to try and split us up. Can't be done. Can't be done. We're ghoul brothers. That's a bond that lasts forever. I think we're really gonna find out the answer of whether or not ghosts are real when the hosts of these shows, ourselves included, start dying off. Um, <laughs> because here's the thing. No matter, what, so no, no matter what happens, and I'll say this to the audience at home too, no matter what happens between him and I on camera, I respect this man. Hermanos fantasmas. And I would trust him holding my newborn child. Uh, really? I don't have a newborn child, but if I did, I'd, I'd toss it over to Shane and I'd trust he, him to he catch it. He'd, he'd throw it like a football. Was Ryan sprayed me in the face, thought that was rude. Thought that was rude, but hey, you know. But we're funny, here to have I, thought fun. it, I thought it was funny as hell. And I can't, I think I'll I do it again. told you. I thought about telling you, like, I'm going to get you back later, but then I thought, we'll just tamp that down. And then when we started doing our little seance with the Ouija board, I was like, here's what I'll do. I'll tell him we should close our eyes and hum. <laughs> because that'll allow me to very stealthily take out the gun, because he won't hear it then, and put it right up to his face and shoot him. Also, what's really funny is if you look at the clip again, he doesn't waste a single second to unholster that pistol. Immediately, as soon as I start humming and close my eyes, he well, just I, like, with, with fucking just <laughs> dead killer eyes, just. Well, I was afraid that you were gonna open your eyes at any given moment. I'd love to see your buns. I mean, that's what we're here for. We traveled very far from California yes. eh, to see your beautiful buns. There ain't nothing more in this world that I wanna see right now than those man mounds. So let's have it. Put those two beautiful cakes on here. Let's see them. Just get them on there. Come no, on now. That's not what I want to see. Come on now. If you put, you could demonstrate what the butt print might look like. Let's get my old flat ass on there. And I'm really gonna... Yeah, there we go. I wouldn't say, now that's an ass. No, that's weak, if anything. Okay. Well, that is... <laughs> yeah, you like... Quite a view. <laughs> <laughs> what do you... Don't... Are you there? Did you just get possessed? What's going on? Hello? If Robert E. Lee is down here, can you turn that light on? Oh, that was, that's a big get right there. That ain't him. He's not hanging around some fucking basement. Why not? He lost. Oh. Uh, hey, hey, Rob, Bobby, if that is you, you really blew it. Yeah, you, suck my balls, dude. Bob, if you would like to suck our balls, can you turn that light <laughs> off? <laughs> yeah, if you would love to suck our balls, turn that light off. Oh, wow, dude. Okay, great. It's said to be trapping a dark entity behind it. Well, I mean, can we open it? I don't think we can. Well, I mean, they didn't say I couldn't, but I feel I like we should. I just want to try. Why? Why would you do that? I'll be back. All right. Ugh, fucking every fucking time I hit this fucking door. Jesus fucking Christ, some anger issues. Out of all the historical sites, I would like to visit the moon. The most. That's one that I'd be like, are you kidding me? You know, they put a little flag up there. That I'd like to see. This place is cool though, I guess. Which sucks because the R train left evidence review portion that we shot was really funny. Shane had yeah, this great bit where know. he says. But now the ghost wants to talk about history with us. Well, the let's... 23rd, the Battle of Chattanooga. Are you aware of that one? Yeah, I mean. Open your textbooks to page 142. We had to cut that whole bit. That's unfortunate, but. I gotta wind up on those <laughs> things, huh? Because it's really like a. <laughs> yeah, he's like a teen banging on a haystack. <laughs> he had knocked my damn hat off. I was murdering so hard. <laughs> Is there anybody even here with me right now? I am. I know that. I thought we'd already seen the two sexiest clocks in the house. But boy, was I wrong. God damn. I'm sure the big guy's having a blast up there. Honestly, he's pretty tired right now. I bet you he's just laying down and sleeping. I don't know if I can go wall-eyed. Can you do that? Oh, that actually hurt my brain. <laughs> can you do that thing where you like Wait, cross you... your eyes and then Whoa! Like... <laughs> You're just looking at your finger. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Hey, wait, let me Look try. at those balls. Let me try. Shane Madej has wandering balls. Wandering balls, they call me. <laughs> if you haunted a mansion, they could be like, they say this hallway's haunted by wandering balls, Madej. Not even a, a really teeny 
teeny tiny teensy, teensy, teensy little teensy, bit. Teensy teensy. Like what if it was zero and then we went? There's no needle movement, unfortunately. If I, that happens. Doctor about that. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> the needle ain't moving. There's no needle movement whatsoever, oh, Doc. Debra, the needle ain't moving. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, that's the dude you were pointing at when you were looking at my ass. Sort of, yes. I wasn't looking at I your mean, ass. I mean, it looked like just... you were overtly looking at my ass. I mean, it was just I mean can you blame strange... him? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That thing I believe that, that mustache doesn't attract anything. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay! We would love to uh, communicate with you and put you on YouTube.com. Can hmm? you tell us your name? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just shaking it around like a little baby, and you gotta keep them up. How does that help the investigation even Well, I think maybe they see a little, a little baby moving around. They'll be like, Oh, there's a baby! I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little child, too. Maybe I should j jiggle. Yeah. Logic really falling apart as you speak. Well, I like to be very thorough. Okay. If I was rich enough to own a castle... What would you do with I it? I would empty it out. Yeah? And I would hire strictly Dracula reenactors and I would have him walk around the castle at different points. Maybe he's in one window and another one who looks identical is in another window. Mainly just for people in the town to think, I think that castle up there is haunted, by, haunted Dracula. by a Dracula. It's haunted by Dracula. It'd be great, <laughs> it'd be great. And I would make sure it was not open to the public and it would be mainly my little mystery mansion. Well, this is deranged. <laughs> I don't think it's that deranged. Okay. It would be non-for-profit. Well, clearly. And also, You're not gonna make a profit on absolutely buying not. a castle and staffing it with Dracula actors. But this is, what kind of profit would you turn from that? Spiritual profit. This is insane. Maybe I'll throw a Frankenstein in there. I don't know. That'd be good. Oh, now it's good? I like that. <laughs> and I could cast you. I'll do it. Uh, I'll save money on makeup. Want to what? What did that say? Apple teeny? <laughs> I heard apple tater. Is that our old pal? Wait a second. You mean to tell me the apple tater is here? Can I get a spaghetti? Spaghetti. Tell us your name. Apple tater. Apple tater? <laughs> Are you coming back for the final season? I wanted to get in in the last season, boy. Severe allergic reaction. <laughs> Severe allergic reaction? <laughs> hey, what pairs really well with apple taters? <laughs> what? <laughs> what, did you hear it? Yes! Did you hear spaghetti? I didn't hear it. You didn't hear that? I didn't hear it. Did we get spaghetti? We, we got, got a spaghetti. Wait, no, we did not. I swear to fucking God. Did we God. get fucking spaghetti? We got a spaghetti. It was a mild spaghetti. That was a spaghetti. Fuck you! Yeah. We got spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. They're back, we baby. They're back. Let's <laughs> go. Yeah, why, why are we not just ending the season the right now? Fucking greatest ghost hunters in the fucking world. Holy shit! <laughs> did you hear that, Mister? <laughs> My greatest hope is that I farted so bad at the end of that tunnel that it makes Ryan Bergara throw up. We don't have to listen to that spirit box ever again. Can we finish that episode with me smashing the spirit box with a hammer? I'll personally pay for it. I'll Venmo BuzzFeed money if they let me smash the spirit box with a hammer. Or my fucking boot. Or on Ryan's head. I'll chew it like a sandwich. I'll swallow it and shit it out. I'm ready to destroy it. Uh, but this well, has been fun. We have something very special planned for the post-mortem slot the following Wednesday after we air the finale. I think you guys are gonna really like it, and that's all I'll say. It's so, not the hot dog. <laughs> it's not the hot dog. I gotta dog. put that out there. It is not the hot dog. <laughs> well, you did abuse that poor nurse with your with your butthole. Now, uh, you released okay. a vicious fart okay. that I, I honestly think they heard back in California. Okay. I think this is, is this the last this question? The last question. So this is from Julia Sloan on YouTube. Congrats, Julia, for post-mortem. Of all the memes you two have spawned during the last six years, which one is your favorite? I'm gonna miss this show. <clears throat> so let's let's list them out here. We have obviously the most famous one, Hey There Demons, It's Me, Your Boy. That's right. Which people, Shane loves people asking him to do that, by the way. <laughs> it's real good. Street. Yeah, it's real good when people come up to me at the airport and just put their phone up to my face and say, say it. I was at Target yeah. and I was uh, trying something on and then I came out of the fitting room and the lady was like, oh my God, you're on the internet. And I was like, yeah. Can I get a picture? And I was like, sure. And she was like, and she just, 
<laughs> I was just standing there in Target with my mask on. I was like, do you want to be in it? She was like, no. <laughs> and next to me were some little like tiger boots and I just picked them up and I so I look Sweet. crazy in that picture. Well, I look forward to seeing that picture. What surfacing. other memes are there? We there's got uh, so, oh, that's such a, there's, like you could just uh, thumb through a little, you know, it's uh, like, Don't Try It Demon is another classic, popular classic. one. Um, uh, I've connected the dots, you didn't connect shit. That's a nice, a nice another duo. One. No, here's a good one. I I've love had, this quote. This I did meet some of the most insufferable people, but they also met me. That was a real one. Yeah, that's that a real a, one. I actually I think that might be my favorite. That was a fun one. I see that in uh, yearbooks a lot. I want to say that the last time I was at the Sally House, I said a lot of things, <laughs> and um, to spare myself the embarrassment, I will now have my colleague read them out. These are the things you said. This is exactly what I said as I left the Sally House, and I. Okay, Ryan. Fuck you. I hope you're fucking looking at this now, motherfucker. Shane, did you just call the demon a motherfucker? Ryan, I don't give a shit now. I'm gone. Peace out, bitch. Not even a single part of me feels bad about leaving. Go fuck yourself, Sally House. You were truly awful, and I hate you. If that actually is a demonic presence in here, or Sally, the thing that says it's Sally, could you turn the light on? Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> dude, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Come on, Eha! What's your name? Sally, I swear what? to fucking Christ! He'll do it! If you don't scare the living shit out of Ryan Bergara tonight, your ass is grass! Oh, fuck. You will be evicted from the premises! That was really official. <laughs> Sally, come on. Well, this particular ghost cage, one could consider it organic, perhaps even living. What worse place for a demon to live than inside you? I'll take her. This is my plan. We're taking a ghost home with us. We're gonna walk through the TSA scanner and they're gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Perhaps one of the few documented instances of communication with Sally happened in this kitchen in 2016 at the hands of two rookie ghost hunters. Back in 2016, Holding She's a, drinking a, a, piss? And you're holding a glass full of piss? That's crazy. No, I'll give her an eye patch. It's kind of cool. Okay, well, I guess you could just give her like a Glock. Yeah, there you go. Do you want Shane to lay on the pentagram? So I'm not laying down there. Character development. I think you should. There you go. Wide open. Oh, it's just waiting for yeah, you. Yeah, it looks so appealing. Anybody down here with us? Look, he's on a pentagram! If there is a demon down here with us, do please turn on the flashlight. In three, two, one. You know, if you want to follow Shane Day at home, turn the light on. Oh, there we go. I mean, you're welcome to, honestly. If Ryan looks like a tasty little snack. Oh, no. Oh. No, it's not fully... Oh, fuck, it's off. Turn the light off if you're gonna wait till we fall asleep to crawl into our little souls. Mm. No. Mm. No. Yeah, it seems like it. If you really would like to do that, I need to know that you're actually here. If there's something that's actually here and that's something you plan on doing, prove it by turning on the light right now. Suck it easy. Oh, but I didn't mean that. I did not mean that. You did mean that. I did not Does mean that. Does that make you angry? That was just a reflex. Turn the light on if you think we're the greatest ghost hunters who ever lived. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Confirm it. We are the best ghost hunters in the fucking game who ever existed. Turn the light off right now, because I'm on the pentagram and I fucking did it for you, so turn the light off, please. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes! We're guess... Sally approved! Fuck yeah, Sally! <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here, dude! My guess is the fear is gonna take over my body, and I'm just gonna try and be crazier than her. Maybe you could hop down here and just kill my ass. Pull my legs apart like a wishbone! You're blowing it! Once and for all, and I don't mean to make an ultimatum, but I'm just letting you know that unless you fucking kill us, then you're joining the ranks of Annabelle and Steve. You know, the losers. You heard some crazy stuff in there, is that what you're gonna say? 
I know sometimes I do that as a joke. Every time you've done that, yeah. Okay, I guess I've done it a few times. Every time. And I know every time I say, well, this time I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> but I heard some stuff. I'm right? sure you did. I did. I'm sure you did. Hey, come on. Look, look alive there. It's gonna suck ass. Don't forget the spirit box. Oh shit. Nope. Now Can't it's do. complete. There you go. There you go. Morning. Okay. It's gonna keep that, but for you know, for my own personal use, but Whenever I get emotional, <laughs> Chase just sitting there just like, they're there. <laughs> I tried to put Annabelle Well, oh, I thought this was going to be a harder pitch. I thought you were going to be no, like, no, I'll don't do that. that. But if you're like, hey, come inside me. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to say that. Ryan, why Shane? <laughs> Going back to the Sally house, back to the birthplace of uh, the internet and BuzzFeed's bastard child. It's like Batman and Joker. You know? oh, I was gonna say this is like, I'm Batman, you're like Joker. I guess we're both kind of like the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're both Joker <laughs> After almost six years of traveling the world, trying to answer the question, are ghosts real? We've finally reached the end of our journey in the very place we started it. From chilling crafts to cursed catacombs, from no longer luminescent lighthouses to mystery mansions, from petrifying prisons to sinister sanatoriums, or back to the simple detective's office where the mere act of wonder was enough. Our curiosity has treated us to things both explained and unexplained, the assignment of which is dependent on who you ask. But whether you're a believer or not, I know one thing to be true. You believed in us, and for that, I'll always be grateful. And sure, we may have never definitively answered the question of are ghosts real? But in the end, in perhaps fitting fashion for a show that finds resolution in the unresolved, all I can say is I'm sure glad we didn't. Because the pursuit and the friendship made along the way was far more fulfilling. I hope the ride was as joyous and full of discovery for you as it was for us. That being said, I ask you one last time, are ghosts real? Who knows? For now, and perhaps forever, the answer will graciously remain unsolved.